What's up, everybody? O and B. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And smash the like button and share the video, y'all. Well, today is going to be a little different because today is actually my birthday. <laughs> well, y'all, I want to talk about something because I'm seeing this where I'm at now, right behind me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, it's something that I see that's, 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 that's rampant in this world. There's a lot of young people out here homeless, B. And I'm not getting it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people homeless. Now, you got some people who got some mental issues. I get it. But then there's some people I'm looking at them like, why? Because I've actually talked to a couple of them and I see that they're intelligent. I'm like, Hold on, you from where? And you speak English that well? Apparently you're intelligent. Because a lot of people who come from your country, I, I could go up to them right now, they don't know what I'm saying. I'll carry on a conversation with you. That's a plus right there. That means that you took the time to learn the language so you can communicate with the people. So that shows intelligence. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, it's a dog on shame, you know? Because I, I come over here to, to, to this McDonald's over here and I'll go get me a, a, a egg biscuit and a unsweet tea and then you know I, I sit around here until it's time to go to work and I do my videos before I go to work you know what I'm saying and I'm noticing somebody sitting right here on the curb and it's 530 and cars are coming in, they see him and they go past him because they don't they don't trust him. He's sitting right there on the curb. You know what I'm saying? You homeless. Nobody know what you up to. You know what I'm saying? And what he does is, as soon as McDonald's open up their um their, their lobby, he goes in there and stink up the bathroom. So I'm like. What, what, what is not triggering in them to where they would want to do better for themselves? You know what I'm saying? They would rather sit up here in this heat, sweating, bugs, being bit by mosquitoes, dirty, stinking, going in, contaminate the bathroom, which I will not use. Once I see people like that going there, I'm not using it. Because if you think that your average Joe out here got something like COVID and all of that, imagine somebody homeless who's very unsanitary. I don't even touch the door. I stop going in there. I'm like, nah, I'll go through the drive-thru. You know what I'm saying? Because it's much more sanitary to do that. But my thing is, what is not triggering in them? There's a sign on the door. That says hiring every Thursday. Now look, okay, you might be smelling and all of this and all of that. When you go in there and you use up their soap and use all of this to wash yourself, go in there and talk to the people. Hey, look, I need a job. I'm just trying to get on my feet. You know, um, I'm homeless right now. You know what I'm saying? And... I got to wash up in here. I hate to do it, but I have to right now because I don't have a place to live, but I do want to work and, and come to work. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? They have programs out here where they will help you get a place, especially if you have a job. So once you get the job, you go to those agencies. It's a church out here. There's several churches that do it. Go to them. They'll give you a bath. They'll bathe you. They'll give you a place to go. Look, I've been homeless, B. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I did? I went and I took whatever services I could get and I got on my feet and I ain't ever returned. Because who, I, I had a car at the time and a job, you know what I'm saying? But still, 
sleeping in your car with your windows open in Florida, mosquitoes is biting you, then you get too hot, you gotta turn on the car, get the AC going. Now you know that, you can't idle, it was an old car too, you can't idle them cars like that. It ain't no semi truck, they ain't diesel. You just can't idle them like that because CO starts coming through the vents after a while. These cars have to be moving, you know what I'm saying? So I knew I had to turn it off and I did. But what I did is I did everything I could in my power and took anything or any um, a avenue that I had. And I, I, I look, I, I went down that avenue. I did what I had to do to get myself out of that situation. So I'm just wondering when I see these people, I'm like, how can y'all be complacent with living like that? It's like, they just say, screw it. I give up. This is my life. And and then you got the guys who, who got criminal records. They get this victim mentality. A lot of them get this victim mentality. Well, I got a criminal record. You know, nobody wants to hire me. That's bull crap. And anybody who says that, that is straight bull crap. I know guys who has done eight years in the penitentiary, 12 years in the penitentiary, and they're doing fine. You know what they did? They went and they got their own business. You know what a lot of, what a couple of them did? They went to these employers, they talked to these people, da 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 and they proved themselves. They wound up getting a job. If you go to some of these employers, some of them so desperate to hire people, they'll take anybody but you have to prove who you are because if you are a troublemaker and you haven't learned nothing, you right back out of there. But if you are genuine and you want to, you really want to do something with yourself, they will hire you. Just prove yourself. A lot of them don't do that. They got that victim mentality, B. That victim mentality will keep you trapped in no man's land for the rest of your life. The one thing I didn't do is I ain't blame nobody for nothing. Like, for instance, today my birthday. Do you think I expect anybody to call me on my birthday and say happy birthday? Heck no. You know why? Because I'm notorious for forgetting birthdays. Some of us will oh, man, nobody call me on my birthday. Dude, I'm going to be working on my birthday. It's been like that for umpteen years, for most of my life. Last birthday, I celebrated when I was 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? So it's just another day with me. And, <clears throat> excuse me, still getting over the cold. The fact that I know that it could be my sister's birthday in June. The day of her birthday, I said, yeah, I'm going to call her, man. Yeah, I ain't going to forget this year. Next thing you know, it's tomorrow. And I done forgot. <laughs> so I don't expect nobody to call me on my birthday, nor does it bother me. You know, that's immaturity. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody who, 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 who's, who's just ridiculous, bro. You know what I'm saying? You reap with yourself. So, no, it does not bother me, not one iota. It's just another day. You know what I'm saying? When you grown, you think grown. When you're a victim... You think victim. At least when you think victim, you you get vic you got that victim mentality. You you feel victimized all the time. I don't feel victimized by nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm I, I dictate what goes on in my life. I dictate how it goes and how it's going to go from here on. And things is about to change. Things is about to get way better, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Them times I was telling y'all about. They on their way, B. And, and, and it's kind of, you know, you know, cause, you know it's kind of scary just, just a little bit because it's the unknown. But it sure might on mind, B. Now, after this video here, you know, I'm going to get back to my boxing. I just got to find some. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy my birthday at work. And uh, y'all take care. See y'all later. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. OMB signing out. Peace.